When you deliver the drilling rig on the site, the first thing you should do is to level the drilling rig using the mechanical screw jacks. Right now you can observe the process of leveling the drilling rig on the ground before the drilling process begins. The drilling rig is equipped with four mechanical screw jacks which are used in order to fix the drilling rig and level the drilling rig on the drilling site. The next step is movement of the mast from transportation position to operation position. In order to move the mast to operation position, you should use the lever lifting and lowering of the mast on the control panel. The next step, you insert the ring in the professional drilling table. In order to set up the pump, you connect the hose to the pump and fix it with the clamps. What you need to do is to tighten three clamps in order to fix the hose to the mud pump. This is the pressure and suction hose which is being connected to the drilling rig right now and one part of it will be put in the water pit with water to deliver water to the mud pump. This is the safety pressure gauge. Uh, it is used when you drill to um, deep uh, distances of the borehole in order to ensure that uh, your uh, mud pump uh, is not uh, damaged when high pressure is created in the borehole uh, this safety valve is used so what it does it uh, removes the high pressure and uh, it exhausts the high pressure uh, when you reach uh, such extremal conditions so it protects your mud pump it switches on automatically before starting the mud pump you need to unscrew the bolts, open the covers you can see the bolts there and put the water inside the mud pump it is the compulsory procedure which you need to follow before starting the mud pump this procedure should be repeated with all three pieces of this mud pump. The next step is installation of three blade bit and starting of the mud pump. In order to start the mud pump, you use the drilling pump start valve. After the three blade bit is drilled down, you need to install the first 1.5 meter drilling rod. After this, you start to drill the first drilling pipe. In order to control the movement of carriage, you use the lever carriage travel. So here you can see two levers, carriage travel and lifting and lowering of the mast. In order to drill down, you use the lever carriage travel. When you drill down the first drilling pipe, you should lift it one more time and drill down several times to make sure that you pass the borehole several times and the walls of the borehole are clear. In order to add the second drilling rod, you use the universal drilling wrench, you put it on the professional drilling table, rotate the drilling screen and add the second drilling pipe. When you add additional drilling pipe, you need to switch off the pump using the drilling pump starting valve in order to stop supply of water from the water pit. 
otherwise the water will be splashed out from the drilling rig. Mr. Bellow, here is the spare part kit for the mud pump. You will require these ceilings after you operate for several, uh, several periods of time. So here are the ceilings that you will need to put on the pistons. For example, when you operate uh, in the sand, sand may get to the uh, pistons and you might re replace the ceilings. Here is the spare part kit. Here are the pistons, the pistons of the pump. What is Underneath this cover, so these bolts are installed in the following way. And before starting the pump, you will need to unscrew these covers and put water on these bolts. When the mud pump is not operating for some time, uh, the water remains there and this bowl will be oxidized. Easily pipe. And it will be uh, stuck, stuck there because of this oxidation. And when you open the cover, you put water inside and uh, the bowl is released. But when the pump is operating, it is going up and down on a constant basis without sticking. So when you operate on a regular basis, this does not happen. Only when the mud pump does not operate for a long period of time. Here is the piston and the ceilings, which I showed you before. So, and when the water pit is filled with water uh, not so deep, uh, then uh, you will see uh, a lot of ash and sand. And the ash and sand may get uh, to the uh, piston and to the ceilings, which will damage these parts. And you will have these uh, components in the spare part kit, which you can replace when you see the damage of these pistons. These pistons uh, are uh, polished and uh, reinforced. This is the spare part kit for the mud pump and B4, which goes with uh, each yeah, drilling rig. Okay. So these are the pistons, uh, the bowls and the seals. The third drilling pipe is installed to the drilling string. This model of GBU-60L is equipped with air bearing unit, which allows to operate the machine with air compressor. Right now you can observe the wet drilling of this drilling machine. Wet drilling means that you use the mud pump installed on the bottom of the drilling rig and the water pit and you flush your borehole with water. At the same time, if you need to operate this drilling rig with air compressor, you can do this because you have the air bearing unit and shock proof bearings which are installed inside which can withstand the high loads of compressed air from air compressor. The process of testing of three drilling pipes has been completed and now you can observe the lifting of the drilling string, which is also performed using the universal drilling range, which is put on the professional drilling table. And after rotating of the drilling string, you disconnect the pipes one from another. Please pay attention, when you lift the drilling string, you should also supply of water and rotation in order to prevent the drilling pipes being stuck inside the water borehole.
So right now all three drilling rods have been lifted and only the three blade bit is left inside which is going to be lifted right now as well. You should use the universal drilling wrench in order to disconnect the three blade bit from the swivel of the drilling rig. After the drilling is completed, the mast is positioned from operational position to transportation position. In order to shut down the drilling rig, you use the engine emergency stop button. After the drilling process is over, you unfasten the hose from the mud pump.